Okay, Obama's alive, Bin Laden's dead. Let's get that established because about 15 different uh, anchor people have said on TV and on radio that it is Obama that was killed in that compound. No! The president got the job done. Congratulations to him. I'm reading the athletes today who tweet, and there's a reason why athletes don't tweet, uh, or when they do tweet, they get put in tough spots. This is Jacob Pullen, a astute young man from Kansas State University. I'm not saying it was wrong to kill him. He got what he deserved. But where I'm from, when you kill someone, their family will kill someone. Where I'm from, Jacob, when a guy's killed 3,000 or more people, we go kill someone. Stupid, number one. Jimmy Johnson, though, says, uh, the race car champ, man, I went to bed early and missed the big news. What a way to wake up, though. Thanks to all the men and women who serve our country. Can't you just say that? Can't everybody just say that? No, you can't just say that. You got to look down a little bit. How about this? Jason Richardson. Now that we have confirmed deaths on both Bin Laden and Saddam a few years ago, now we can bring all our troops home now. <laughs> hey, sweetheart, we're in 130 countries. They're never coming home. We run it, okay? Okay, and there's more out there. Oh, Obama's gone. It's just like a coach. Let me, let me explain to the college graduates, if you did graduate, Jason Richardson. When a coach gets fired, they hire another one. Bin Laden got killed. They're bringing in another guy, okay? So, so just keep bouncing the ball, all right, and try to get out of your own way. Uh, Gordon Beckham, uh, all the gra- as the great Hawk Harrelson would say, Osama bin Laden, he gone. But like Ditka would say after he would probably uh, get rid of a bin Laden. Gone golfing. Going to go golfing after taking care of our guy. But this is the best. Chris Douglas Roberts from the Milwaukee Bucks, moron. It took 919,000 deaths to kill that one guy. It cost us roughly, like he's paying. Two billion dollars to kill him. Ha, but we're winning, though. Ha, sarcasm. Here's an asswipe that's playing basketball for, for, uh, for money in this country, and he doesn't get it. People are telling me to get out of America now because I'm more, and more business of people are dying every day. Because what? I'm against a 10-year war? Okay? Reading y'all's tweet ha, against me and me shaking my head. This is what I get for not wanting innocent people to die daily. Shame on me. Are they all innocent, Chris? Chris, shut up. Go away. Whatever your average and nobody even knows about you. You're very fortunate to be living in this country. You think this country got here by accident? We have to fight other people out to kill us. Did you hear the, the, the Islamic uh, jihadists are out to kill us, Chris? And that because bin Laden's gone? Hey, we got to keep fighting for our freedom, Chris. You think you're allowed to go eat at a restaurant and play basketball because nobody ever fought for you? You're a selfish, selfish human being, Chris Douglas Roberts. You really are. And you dishonor all the people who've been killed who are trying to fight for our freedom. You're an asswipe, and there's no other way to put it. Get rid of your Twitter account because it makes you seem even moronic than you were for leaving Bradley back in the day. I'm just saying, and that's brought to you by All Toff Industries.